boy. Okay. Let me tell you guys about this freaking sweater. It is not, um, it's not that I hate the pattern. What I realized was I do not like cabling. I don't mind doing a little bit of cabling, but I don't like patterns where there's a lot of cabling involved. And because I've been working on this sweater consistently, I'm just like, hell, I'm sick of cables. I am sick of cables. But let me tell you, this is where we are. Isn't she lovely? This is beautiful, right? So the next question is like, well, why are you fussing it? Why are you fussing? Well, I just don't like patterns where I have to repetitiously continue the cable. I have completed the full back and both sleeves. So this is the front. So I have, um, I'm on my last repeat cable row before I split this in half. Now, let me tell you about the pattern. The pattern itself is a, um, it's a repeat pattern. It's very simple for new knitters who know how to cable. If you know how to knit and you know how to purl and you know how to read a pattern when it comes to cabling, then you're all good. That's what I'll say. So this is definitely, it, it's, it's beginner friendly. It is not um, a hard pattern at all. And honestly, I mean, it hasn't been bad. I've just, I really want to just kind of finish with this sweater. So I'm becoming anxious. Well, I'm not even gonna say I'm becoming anxious. I'm just getting tired of this sweater. I want to just be finished with it already. But I can honestly say that for me to have been working on this, I am, this is like the third week. Excuse me, guys, my eye is itching. But this is the third week. So I think I've done pretty well to have been knitting this for three weeks. I've consistently been knitting for two weeks. This here, this portion here, I started working on this Sunday. And here we are on Saturday. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad because the cable, this cable pattern that's, re, that's a repeat pattern, it's a 54, excuse me, it is a 54 row um, repeat pattern. But after you do the first 54 rows, then you're only going to repeat rows 7 through 54. So that's not too bad because, you know, it, it's a chart. Now, let me tell you about the chart. I, what I found was I don't like to keep looking at a chart, looking at all these different symbols. So it was easier for me to just take and literally write each, each of these rows out because I was going to lose my mind, keep looking at this chart. So that is one thing I would say that I don't like about this pattern is that the chart is not written out and some some patterns they actually have the chart but they also give you the option to look at the written form now the other thing i would say is for anyone who decides to knit this make sure that you pay attention to what you're doing because um some of the symbols look alike but they're not and also you know just a word of advice is you're Odd rows are from right to left, and your even rows, which is your wrong side, is from left to right. So you don't read the pattern the same way the whole way up. You read them opposite, just for any new knitters who decide to do any type of chart knitting. So uh, we are, it is 1.55 on a Saturday. And we're gonna see how long it takes me to finish this front panel. Hopefully, I am done with it by tomorrow night. But I'm gonna check back in. I'm gonna check back in. And I can't wait to show you guys all the nice pieces separate and how they look when they're sewn together. So, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so as you can see, I finished the front panel, however, I need to do okay guys so I finished the front panel and 
I would have been on to the collar of this, but I had to rip out the back to even out the length because the back was shorter than the front. But look at all this detail. That is nice detail. The cables weren't as bad, but it was very time consuming. Okay guys, so it is eight o'clock on Monday. Yesterday, I had finished the whole front, the top part, and then I got to the back and that's Charles making all types of noise, but I, um, I had to rip back some of the back portion because the front was longer than the back, right? I had to gear away from the pattern a little bit because the guy that I'm making this for, he's bigger than the largest size. So I had to get away from it a little bit. So we're almost done with the back panel, right? I just have about four or five inches to work up and then I can add on the collar. So I thought I was finished with it tonight because yesterday I knitted up the back and I said, okay, I think it's even. No, I had to rip back about three rows and pick my stitches back up. So I hope that I want to be done tonight and be able to show you guys what the final sweater looks like because it's been three weeks and two days and I'm still working on this and I want to be done with it. So I just wanted to check in and let you guys know where I am at and I will be back on here tomorrow to give you the deets and hopefully show you the finished sweater. But aside from that, I sold out of my beauty boxes. So I have um, ordered more of the boxes so that I can make more beauty boxes um, because I have the supplies, but I don't have the packaging. So I had to order more packaging. So hopefully that's here within the next week so that um i can start making more beauty boxes but yeah that's what's been going on so far the etsy shop studying and the challenge of the sweater and what happened what else happened oh my mom has given me some more work to do she's uh ordered more masks for her client so that she can start adding her vinyl onto the mask. And then I got customers who have ordered more soap. So yeah, I've been a little busy bee and I have more work to do once I finish this sweater. So I'm gonna tune out for tonight and I'm gonna tune in tomorrow. Lots of work to do. Okay guys, so we're here with the next morning. And so far I have the collar, but I have 12 more rows to do and then I'll be finished with the collar. I probably would have been finished with this collar last night. Mm -hmm. However, Charles likes to yarn when I'm on this camera, but I had ended up having to um, rework the collar, so to speak, because I read this pattern wrong and I'll talk to you about the pattern once I get through this process. So I will be back when I'm done. All right, guys, so I did finish the sweater. Oh my goodness, it has been such a journey. So let me tell you, last night, I um, <laughs> I got tired and of course I messed some stuff up. So I ended up having to improvise. And I don't think I messed up because, I ain't gonna say I messed up because I was tired. The way the pattern read, it really wasn't explaining what I needed to do. So I was doing it wrong. And then after I slept on it, I woke up and I said, ah, this is how I should do it. So the pattern, it was pretty much, it was turning without like a wrapping turn, but I was doing a collar. So I'm like, well, what about the rest of the stitches? Cause you only tell me about these stitches. And then my brain clicked on. So we finished this. We finished the sweater. So 
So we have our button on here. I put the button on. We have our collar. You can flip the collar up, flip it down. And look at that. So much detail. This sweater has a little bit of weight to it. But yes, I just wanted to show you guys. We got the sleeves on this bad boy. We got the sleeves on there. This is nice and warm. I am actually going to soak this in some soap. So, some It's called soap. So I'm going to soak this and just let everything do what it do. And yes, this, this is it. This is it, guys. This is it. Oh, I'm so glad to be done with this. This was like a three-week journey of pulling stitches, putting it back together, cabling, wrist pain. I'm glad I'm finished. So thank you guys for tuning in. And to my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to have you. And the next project, I'm going to do another sweater, but this one is for a female. So yeah. And I got to get back to that dress I was working on, but uh, yeah. Sweater, sweater, sweater. It's done. It's finished. I'm glad. See you in the next video.